Well, before her show at New York Fashion Week, Karina sat down with Wang Tao, founder and CEO of Tao Rei Wang. She began by asking why she's drawn to designing clothes for women in leadership roles. I am a designer, but I've been management uh, role for over 10 years. I'm not just a designer, I'm actually, you know, um, run the business. So I found, you know, through my career, I found it so difficult to find some clothes who, you know, which is look uh, different, but also you could comfortable to wear it in business. So I think why I can't create a brand. You're known as the queen of the suit. How did working in menswear help you transition and starting your own line? That's a very good question because I start my career with menswear design in Japan. So I get used to uh, really, you know, appreciate uh, details and good quality fabrics and tailor when, you know, when I start my career. That is a long time ago. So then later on, and I found, you know, because the suit is kind of like power, it's a business, it's represent, uh, you know, this, uh, uh, this leading roles in business. So I found why I can't concentrate in what I love to do. I love tailoring. And I just think, you know, the suit gives you lots of confidence. It looks good. Do you think it's very important, the visual aspect, when you are a woman in business? Yeah, definitely, because I think, uh, you know, uh, the, how you wear things and clothes is the first uh, business card. You could uh, just give people impression. And um, normally, people look at you, the first impression is your clothes. And that definitely represents who you are and, you know, what kind of uh, um, character you have. What do you think is the perception of Chinese designers in China? Is there a lot of national pride and support for Chinese designers? Perception in, in, for Chi Chinese designer in China um, is improving a lot. I think maybe just, uh, you know, the customers start to, uh, to fill the less gap between the local brand and international brand. But, um, well, there is a lot of things that still need improving more, like a quality, uh, like, a, you know, mm, but I think it's improving uh, uh, compared with uh, 10 years ago. And what do you think is the perception of Chinese designers outside of China? When I'm traveling to other countries and people start talking about, oh, you're from China, so why you don't use the Chinese color? And for somehow, they believe the Chinese designer must appear with all these, you know, very colorful things and dragons and phoenix. So um, it, it's quite surprised me actually, and um, I, I think China's got a, a, a lot of uh, different uh, designers and cultures. It's not just uh, what they say from outside. A lot of designers, whether they be Chinese or non-Chinese, like to draw on China as an inspiration. How do you approach chinoiserie? I just feel like when you're working in business, and especially when you're traveling international, and um, you, you could have your identity as a Chinese, but n not necessarily external, all these colors and uh, patterns. But instead, I think my uh, suit, when you open it, and I have this beautiful Chinese silk and uh, Chinese uh, like uh, uh, flowers and, uh, and birds uh, as a prince in the lining instead of uh, external fabric. Where is your clothing manufactured? At the moment, uh, all these fabrics I ordered from uh, the Italian mills. But uh, uh, the factories um, at the moment I'm making in Shanghai uh, from my uh, sample room. There's been a perception that manufacturing in China is of lesser quality. Has that changed? I think in 10 years ago, 15 years ago, made in China maybe present low quality. But now um, China has been changing a lot. And as a quality, I think uh, myself would appreciate and I hope my customer would find out is uh, and can appreciate too.